If zoning at its core is about egalitarian relationships, we're at a crossroads where computation can play a major role in successful urban design. We started with the ubiquitous urban grid, where many times density and quality of life are in conflict. Let's take Manhattan, for instance. Instead of prescriptive zoning that blocks light, parametric zoning can actually raise density and guarantee sunlight to ground-level open spaces. A variable sky exposure plane can coordinate building heights against a wide variety of existing and new conditions. The result is an increase in density of 140%, but also an increase in access to light and air. This comparison shadow study shows that even with higher buildings, daylighting to ground level spaces is much improved. Let's look under the hood for a moment. The tool is based on the voxel, a three-dimensional informational pixel. It allows us to generate a solution for the entire urban mass, something that will take weeks to do manually. Customized floor-to-floor -floor heights, for instance, can help deliver excellent daylighting to all the buildings. The power of the tool is that many social, environmental, and material factors can be analyzed simultaneously. So instead of diminishing the role of the designer, it actually empowers us. And since this tool is essentially three-dimensional, property lines and air rights can be designed for much more effectively. Let's try on some different hats and see how they can be used for productive discussion. A developer might prioritize certain parts of the urban block while highlighting synergies between mixed-use programs. while an individual might want to test their access to light and air, as well as their access to public amenities. While a community development group might want to incorporate civic programs like a school and its related open spaces. Finally, the material and shape of the buildings can take on many forms, limited only by the imagination. Interdependent Urbanism This research was made possible by the Harvard Real Estate Academic Initiative. A special thanks to the entire team.